Hi my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Amy and I am a cruelty-free content creator. Today we're going to be playing with a palette that I've had since January. I know, don't come for me. <laughs> I've been meaning to create this video for so long. This is the Nomad Cosmetics Iceland palette. I think that this is such a fun and unique concept. Nomad Cosmetics is an independent, cruelty-free, and completely vegan brand. When I saw the teaser pics of this, I just thought this was so much fun. I love that there was a balance of warmer and cooler tones in this, and I knew immediately that I wanted to pick it up. I love the concept of Nomad because they're based on places and destinations. So this is listed as an intense eyeshadow palette. Warm and cool-toned eyeshadows formulated with extra fine pigments for stunning color payoff. Infused with cloudberry seed oil to help moisturize and protect skin, eight glimmering shimmers, seven majestic mattes inspired by the land of ice and fire. As I said, I have played with this plenty of times. I actually really love this palette. Nomad has a wonderful eyeshadow formula. I think that they've actually just gotten better and better over time. And to be honest, I love that there's more pure mattes in this palette. In the past, they've had mattes that have a little bit of shimmer in them. So they're not necessarily a matte. I would probably call them maybe a sequin. So these are actually true mattes and then you do have the metallics and the foiled shades too. So blendability, it works great. It's long lasting. If I put this on right at the beginning of the day, the shadows stay on throughout the day, the shimmer stays, so you still have like that blinding light across the eye and the lid. And I just think it's a great balance of cool and warmer tones. You can use them together. There's also these really fun shades down at the end, which I think are nice and bright and almost that pastel pop that look like the Northern Lights, which I think is super creative. So the concept is just super fun and I really love this palette. I do recommend it. I think it is stunning. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit different that has a fun balance of different shades a unique color story and something that's long lasting this is an excellent palette i highly recommend it and so without further ado let me zoom you in and we will do two looks i'll do one look on one eye and one on the other right now i feel like i'm in the land of fire and ice because i just got my second covid shot today and i was feeling good all day just a little fatigued and then all of a sudden tonight I just started feeling really, really under the weather. And so now I'm like, oh gosh, I feel so warm, like I have a fever. And I'm, I opened up the window and it's like 40 something degrees out. So it's like the heat and the cold and I'm just a mess. So to prime my eyes today, I'm going in with the ABH eye primer. I've been really enjoying this. This is just a sample size. I got it around Christmas time when I finally got my hands on the Sultry palette. It came in a little bundle. I like it because it's kind of off white. So it's a little bit lighter to make brighter shadows pop. Not gonna set it, I'm just gonna have it nice and sticky. I'm gonna be using all ColourPop brushes for this look. I'm gonna go into Odin, which is this gray shade with an E16 brush, and I'm just going to pack this on. I'm gonna start right on the outer corner, and I'm gonna stamp it across slightly higher than my natural crease. And then I'm just gonna start doing windshield wiper motions. And although I really did coat my brush there, you can see how smooth that is. There's no skipping or anything, which that's what I really love about this palette is that the colors do not skip and they build quite nicely. I'm using an E17 brush and we're gonna go into this black shade called Dark Castles. Look how pigmented and matte that is. It's so beautiful. And I'm just going to gently start to move this in the crease. So going back into that ColourPop E16 brush, that's what I used with the shade Odin. And I'm just going to not pick up any more product, but I'm just gonna blend out around the edges just so we don't have any harsh lines. And I love that this shade is Odin, by the way, because I just always think of Thor. But of course, Odin is pretty much like the king the god of the gods. So I just think that's really cool. Norse mythology is just really awesome. And I love how it's kind of inspired so much music and also mythology, like other mythologies and world fantasy building. So if I think of Lord of the Rings, so much of that is based on 
Norse mythology, which I just think is really cool because I am a super Lord of the Rings nerd. I already started putting a metallic shade on the lid. This is Gallo's Lava. This is a beautiful kind of gray based, black based green, which I think is quite stunning. So I'm just using my ring finger and I'm just patting this on. Going back in with my E17 brush, I'm not going to put any more of that black shade Dark Castles. I'm just going to take what's left on it and I'm going to go underneath the lash line just to get that smoked out look. And then taking E16 again that has what's left of the shade Odin. I'm just going to blend that out. So you know what I think we're going to do because we have the green kind of going on in here? I'm going to go into Northern Lights. I'm going to take a liner brush. I'm going to put this on my waterline. All right, so that is really fun. Look how that just brightened up everything. Now I'm like, what should I do with my inner corner? I'm kind of feeling like, do I want to do just like another fun shimmery shade? Like, should I put Valkyrie maybe in the inner corner with the purple? I don't know if that's too much, but let's just give that a try. So I'm going to go in with Valkyrie. This is this bright, shiny purple, and this is an E21 brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this on it. I'm just going to take this, and I'm so gently just popping this in the inner corner. So with my left eye, we're going to start off with this kind of light yellowish orange. This is Hecla, and I'm using an E15 brush. I would describe this shade as a light Cheeto dust. So I'm just going to go in, fluff this out. I'm pretty much taking this from my crease almost up to my brow bone pretty close and then just taking a little bit out we're gonna take a little out and drag it so we get kind of like a wing like shape so I wiped off my E17 brush I'm gonna go into Muspelheim I'm probably saying that wrong that sounded more Germanic but this is this orange shade right here I really need to learn to say orange orange because it isn't oh where I grew up I don't know why everyone always said it orange and it's just stuck with me so while I like that these tones are warm and fiery they're not like that in your face overly like remember when like real real warm hot fire tones were in and I'm kind of happy that we've moved away from that to be honest because sometimes it's a little too much but I just love how these two shades just kind of blend together. So I went in and brought this into my crease. And again, I'm just gonna bring this out a little bit with the blending, not too far. Going back into E15, this is the Hekla, Hekla, oh, I said Helka, Hekla shade. And I'm just going to blend again without putting any additional product on. I'm going to take the shade Nilfheim. This is this beautiful kind of navy, well, maybe not a dark navy blue, but it's kind of close to it. So this is a deeper blue, and I'm taking an E16 brush underneath the lash line. Going in with E15 that had Hecla on it, I'm just going to buff this out. I'm going to take this beautiful bright metallic red help and I'm using a flat E18 brush. I'm taking this pretty powder blue, this is Niord, I believe I'm pronouncing that right, and I'm going to use a liner brush and we're going to put this on the waterline. Taking pencil brush E12, I'm going to go into River Glacier, this bright icy shade right here. I just used my ABH Lash Bang Mascara, so I just put that on, and these are the two final looks. So I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit closer so you can see them.
Alrighty, my loves, so I hope you enjoyed this video and me doing these two looks and this review. Again, I think this is such a fun, colorful palette, but it's very easy to use, very easy to blend. Again, easy to work with and mix and match the shades together. So if you're kind of newer to color, I think this is actually a really great palette for that. Again, I love these indie companies. I think they are just putting out so much fun and creative color stories that I absolutely love. So I hope hope you enjoyed this again. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, remember to comment down a little peach below because you are sweet as a peach. And until next time, remember to stay compassionate and chic. Bye! <laughs> what are you doing? Are you being a cutie? Ready? Say hi to everyone! Hello! Hello! <laughs>